Marjorie and Catherine. No. Oh, let me see. Marjorie and Gower. Daddy, it's Rob. Oh, she mean Rusty and Linda? Gee, I thought you were a professional dance team. Linda was just helping me practice up for the eighth grade dance Friday night. Could be some shindig, huh? You should know. You'll be there. What do you mean, I'll be there? Oh, honey, I, I didn't I tell you. We're going to be the chaperone. We're going to the dance? Uh -huh. Friday? Yeah. Well, don't sit there, Irish. Let's practice. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's a nice record, Russ. Are chaperones allowed to dance? No. All chaperones are supposed to do is sit in a corner and go... <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, it looks like it's back to the rocking chair for us. I yeah, wonder who that could be. Maybe it's the man from the old folks' home. <laughs> <laughs> chaperones go toot, toot, toot. Oh, oh, come in, come in, son. One of your boyfriends here, Russ. <laughs> he's a Barbara? Sure, he's a she. See? Oh. Well, you're a very pretty girl, Barbara. You shouldn't hide it like that. Being pretty doesn't make you a good outfielder. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> Barbara's our utility outfielder. She plays when one of the guys doesn't show up. Mm. You been keeping that arm in shape? Oh, yes, Rusty. I've been throwing against the garage door. Feel that muscle? Hey, that's great, kid. That's getting nice and hard. Oh, you're just saying that? No, I mean... <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. That's okay. Say, this glove is kind of stiff. Let me get you some Neat's foot oil to soften it up. Rusty's so thoughtful. Are you in love with Rusty? <laughs> Linda. Well, she keeps showing him her muscles. There must be something going on. <laughs> go, 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 go. What'd they say? We'll discuss it later. Go to your room now and play. Gee whiz. Sometimes you can make a person feel very unpopular. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. Ashamed of what? Of liking Rusty. I think he's the most wonderful boy in the whole world. Is that why you want to play on his baseball team? Uh-huh. Of course, with him pitching and me in left field, we don't get too close to each other. <laughs> but I'm hoping someday I can be catcher and we can have meetings on the mound. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll have a much more satisfactory meeting at the dance. The dance? The class dance, the eighth grade dance. Oh. Well, um, I, I don't think I'll be going to the dance. Why not? Um, nobody asked me. You mean that, that uh, Rusty hasn't even there, asked? Kid. Now pour plenty of oil on it and we'll work it in real good with your hands. Now do it two or three times before Saturday and she'll really bend good. And get to bed early every night. Oh, that is, except Friday. Friday? Sure, don't you want to go to the dance? Uh, I'd love to. Good, maybe I'll bump into you there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that arm in shape, you hear? You must be very proud of your son. Every time he does something wrong, he becomes my son. <laughs> well, you could have taught him a little chivalry. He knows all about chivalry. He certainly knows Sir Walter Raleigh. Who's he? You've read about Sir Walter Raleigh. He was the gallant gentleman who spread his cape over the mud puddle for Queen Elizabeth to walk over. Yes, if you'd have been there, you'd have knocked her down and walked over her. <laughs> what do I do? Well, I guess Mom's a little miffed at you because, well, that's no way to ask a girl to go to the dance. Maybe I'll bump into you there. Who said I was asking her to the dance? Well, weren't you? Heck no. You won't catch me asking a girl to a dance. Well, who do you figure to dance with, a gopher? <laughs> Daddy. I'll dance with plenty of girls after I get there, but I'm not going to give a girl a chance to get snooty with me. Not again. You mean not again? Did you have a bad experience? Yeah, last term. 
I walked up to this girl and I said, Hey, kid, I'm giving you a big break. I'm gonna let you come to the dance with me. <laughs> and right away she starts playing hard to get. Can't see why. Well, she, she started hitting like maybe she wouldn't want to go with me. Mm, what'd she say? Nothing. She just kicked me. <laughs> I don't blame her. Did it ever occur to you that a little courtesy, a little gallantry might be a better approach? What do you mean? Look, Russ, little ladies like little gentlemen. Young boys who are, who are charming, who use a little respect. Respect? Yeah, respect. You know, it's not so hard. A little thoughtfulness, like, like opening the door for a girl or tipping her hat when she passes by or, or bowing from the waist. Oh, come on now! <laughs> Girls today are starved for that kind of attention, and a boy that gives them that kind of attention doesn't get kicked. A cornball approach like that really works. Well, it worked for me. How do you suppose I got a wonderful, beautiful woman like your mother? With manners, acting the gentleman, that's how I did it. Yeah? Certainly, you don't think I won her with my good looks. No, sir, I certainly didn't think that. <laughs> Dad! Yeah? Dad, you're a genius! I'll buy that. No, I mean about the advice you gave me yesterday. It worked like a charm. No kidding. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, what happened? I did everything you said. Mm -hmm. I was a perfect gentleman. I held open the door for her, held out the chair, I even bowed from the waist. How'd it feel? Well, it hurt a little right above the belt buckle, but... <laughs> I mean, how'd it feel being a gentleman for a change? Well, kind of funny, but boy, it got results. She couldn't say yes fast enough. And look at this. I even bought her a corsage. How's that for being a gentleman? Well, it all depends. Did you charge it to me? No, I bought it with my allowance. <laughs> and you're a perfect gentleman. <laughs> But aren't you kind of jumping a gun a little bit? The dance is not until Friday. Why are you buying a corsage today? Well, I know, but I, I, I want to show her I meant business. Once I get polite, there's no stopping me. <laughs> well, I guess it'll keep in the refrigerator till Friday. I'm sure Barbara will love it. Barbara? Why should she love it? Well, because it's very nice and because you bought it for her. Oh, Daddy, you're joking. Do you think I'd buy a corsage for a left fielder? <laughs> I bought it for Gloria Butler. Gloria Butler? Where did that one come from? Oh, I told you about her. She's the one who kicked me. <laughs> Look. All the guys are dying to date her. She's mm -hmm. the most sophisticated girl in the whole class. Is that so? She's already got the braces off her teeth. <laughs> Real uptown, huh? I owe it all to you. I'm sure lucky to have you for a dad. If it wasn't for your advice, I never in the world could have gotten this date. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fixed things up real good. Look who I picked up your little helper. Oh, oh, hi, kid. Oh, Rusty, what have you got there? It's a salami. Go put it in the icebox. <laughs> salami. It's a corsage. Oh, Want to see it? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it, Barbara? It's gorgeous. You like it? Sure. You really like it? Sure I do. I hope Gloria will like it. Oh, for crying. <laughs> Gloria Butler? Sure, Gloria Butler. How many Glorias do we know? Who is Gloria Butler? She's the girl I'm taking to the dance. She's the most popular girl in our class, Mrs. Williams. She and Rusty will make a wonderful couple. Hey, who are you taking to the dance? Me? Oh, that's right. You're a girl. <laughs> I better get this in the refrigerator so it'll be fresh for the dance. Well, there's one thing certain. Our son will never work for the diplomatic corps. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barbara. For what? Well, I, I thought Rusty would ask you to the dance. Did you expect him to ask me? Oh, well, uh, I wouldn't be going anyway. We've got a real important game Saturday. And I wouldn't want to stay up and ruin my batting eye. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, it's very important for a, a girl to hit over 300. <laughs> it is to me, Mr. Williams, because I want Rusty to be proud of me. <laughs> huh. 
honey. Don't judge me, you, 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 you man! <laughs> Russ. Oh, hi, Dad. Just checking my suit jacket for Friday night. Look all right? Yeah, yeah, it looks Good. fine. I'd like to talk to you, son. Sure, I'll be with you in a minute. I just want to hang this up. Fine, fine. Uh... <laughs> Pick it up. That's the way to hang a jacket. Oh. <laughs> Look, Russ, uh... I've been thinking, uh, suppose you're making a mistake, I mean, uh, deciding so fast on who you're gonna take to the dance. What do you mean? Well, you, you sure you're taking the right girl to the dance? Daddy, you must be joking. Do you know how popular Gloria is? Last semester, she was voted Miss Recess. <laughs> <laughs> she wants, even real old guys, ninth graders. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, it'd be real easy for her to get somebody else to take her to the dance, huh? Why should she want another date? She's going with me. You want her to go with you knowing that you're going to be hurting somebody else's feelings? What do you mean? Whose feelings? You don't know? No. Barbara. Barb? Yeah. You expect me to dance with her? Why not? She's a girl. She is not. She's a left fielder. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't mean that. Behind that tomboy shield is a girl. A sensitive, sweet little girl that thinks an awful lot of you. Well, I think she's a good egg, too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Since you think she's such a good egg, I'm sure you'll do the right thing. What do you mean by the right thing? You said yourself that this, this Gloria can, can get a date with any boy in the school. Any of the fellas would be happy to ask her to go to the dance. But Barbara, if, if you don't ask, that means she just isn't going. You want me to give up Gloria? Struck down by my own flesh and blood. <laughs> Look, Russ. I don't want to butt into your affairs, but I am your father, and how you grow up is important to me. More than anything, I want you to grow up to be a gentleman, a courteous and considerate man, considerate of the feelings of others. When you walk down the street, I want people to point and say, look, there goes Danny Williams' boy. Isn't he a fine young man? Now, you, you want me to be proud of you, don't you? Yes, sir. Daddy, you want me to be proud of you too, don't you? Certainly, son. Well, how do you think I'd feel if you walked down the street and people said, there goes Rusty Williams' father. He teaches his son bad manners. What do you mean I teach you bad manners? Well, if I broke the date with Gloria, that would be bad manners, and I just couldn't do it to you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Rather than put you through the humiliation, I'll go through with my date with Gloria. <laughs> <coughs> no good, huh? <laughs> Well, gee whiz, Daddy, a guy's got to put up some kind of a fight. Ah, oh, fooey. I'm not going to say any more about it. This is your affair, and I'm sure that you will handle it gracefully. I'm sure of that because I know what kind of a boy you are. I remember what you did for your kid sister. That you wanted to play football with the fellas, and they didn't want her. And how you bribed the guys, give them all your wonderful equipment just so they'd accept her. Now, a boy who's capable of a sweet act like that toward his sister is certainly not capable of hurting a nice little girl like Barbara. You've got a big heart, son, and I'm sure a conscience to match. What 
a mixed up deal. When you're born, they give you a brain to figure out ways to have a good time. Then they throw in a conscience and ruin it all. Daddy, you got blue bag, got got blue bag. Here yet? Honey, please, I've got work to do. Oh, but darling, I wanted to get here before Rusty gets home. Couldn't you give her another ring? Look, babe. I fully agree with you that it's very important for us to ask Barbara to the dance, Freddy, but I assure you it will not help pay the rent. I've got work to do. Oh, for goodness sake, all I did was ask a simple question. You don't have to make a big thing of it, Jim. Will you please stop being such a grump? Boy, oh boy, just let us smile. Be our umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. And when your sweetie cries, just tell her that a smile will always pay. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret, cause a smile will bring the sunshine and you never get wet. Let a smile be your umbrella. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry, our friends are... Honey, she's not here. You should be here by now. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I got work to do. Oh, but darling, you're sure she hasn't seen Rusty yet? Dear, when I talked to her on the phone, she said she hadn't seen him since yesterday. Now relax. Oh, well, that's good, because when she gets here, I want to give her a few pointers. You don't need to give her any pointers, dear. Everything is taken care of. Well, honey, you want Rusty to ask her to the dance, don't you? Yes, dear, and he will ask her to the dance. Old Dad is taking care of everything. After the sermon I gave him yesterday, he's a cinch to ask her. Just leave it to Father, please. Honey, regardless of what you hear on television, Mother knows best. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Barbara, come on in, honey. Oh, hi, kid. Hi. Come, uh, in, come, come in, come in. Come on over here and sit down. I heard right over as soon as you called, Mr. Williams. Is anything wrong? Oh, no, no honey. We just wanted you to get here before Rusty comes home. Yeah, I, uh, I think he's, uh, he's got something he wants to say to you, something very important. If it's about the game, I'm ready. I've been practicing just like he said. Well, no. Barbara, I, I have a feeling you ought to start practicing up for the dance Friday night. Why should I practice for the dance? I'm not going. You mean you wouldn't go even if uh, Rusty should ask you? Rusty asked me? Oh, he's taking Gloria Butler. And he wouldn't ask me even if he wasn't taking Gloria. Why not? Well, golly, Gloria's so pretty and everything. Well, you're pretty too, and you'd be a lot prettier if you'd take the trouble to do something about it. You know, I have some dresses upstairs that our daughter Terry has outgrown, and why don't you come up with me and we'll pick out one and... Then maybe your mother would uh, give you a nice new hairdo. Well, I don't have a mother. Oh. I have a daddy, though, and four brothers. But they're not much help with hairdos. <laughs> My brothers all wear butch haircuts, and daddy's bald. <laughs> well, you come upstairs with me, and you pick out a dress you like, and maybe I'll experiment a little bit with your hair, if you don't mind. I'd love it. <laughs> Maybe we'll give you a shampoo. You know, it's a little sticky. That's because I've been using my brother's butch wax. <laughs> Good afternoon, Father. <laughs> father, may I have the pleasure of presenting Miss Gloria Butler. Gloria, my father, Mr. Danny Williams. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. Williams? I've heard so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard a lot about you, too. <laughs> Have a seat, Gloria. I'll get the corsage. <laughs> I must compliment you, Mr. Williams. You have the sweetest son. You must be very proud of him. <laughs> must I? Oh, yes. He's so thoughtful. And he was so anxious to make sure my corsage would match my dress. 
He's just darling. <laughs> yes, he isn't he? Just darling. Gloria, may I present you with this corsage? Oh, Rusty, it's beautiful. Beauty deserves beauty. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, I just know I'm going to have a marvelous time tomorrow night. Oh. You should. You'll be the prettiest girl there. Oh, what a line you've got. <laughs> oh, Rusty. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She was dead? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? Beauty deserves beauty. <laughs> Phooey. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at me for expecting you to be what you're not. Huh? Oh, look. Do me a favor. Let's just skip the whole thing. Well, okay, but could I at least ask you one question? Well, would you loan me two dollars to buy another corsage? <laughs> another corsage? What's Gloria gonna do? Wear them front and back? <laughs> it's not for Gloria. It's for Barbara. For Barbara? Well, sure. If she's gonna go to the dance with me, I want to at least give her as good a corsage as I gave Gloria. How many girls are you taking, Bluebeard? One. <laughs> Barbara. I broke the date with Gloria. But why, why'd you give her the corsage? Well, that's the only way she'd let me break the date was if I gave her the corsage anyway. <laughs> I guess all along she just liked me for my flowers. You know, uh, I, I think I owe you an apology. I'd rather have the two. <laughs> yeah. Here's five. Get her the nicest corsage in town. Boy, I'll get her a purple orchid. Anything you say. Say, Dad. Yeah? Does a purple orchid go with a gray sweatshirt? Oh. <laughs> now, stop being funny. You know Barbara doesn't always wear a gray sweatshirt. No, she wears a brown sweatshirt. Never mind. <laughs> don't you make fun of her. I'm not. And don't let any of the boys make fun of her at the dance, either. Well, they won't. If any of them do, you know what I'll do? Ah. Why, I'll... I'll... Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's the nicest thing you ever said to me, Rusty. <laughs> Here, Barbara, I hope you like your corsage. <laughs> Today, she'll spoil her manicure. Isn't it pretty? It's a new color. Blush pink. Pink schmink. <laughs> get a glove on and get out in left field. I'm afraid not today, Rusty. But you've got to play. Not today, Rusty. Oh, I'll have to use Fat Davy. <laughs> but be there on time tomorrow. I won't be able to be there tomorrow. I have a ballet class. I never saw anyone go wrong so fast. 